Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hello, hello. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage reminds us that we need to put the things that are sinful in our life to death so we can have a closer relationship with God. Uh, Let's go ahead and read that now. If you have your Bibles, turn to Colossians 3, verses 6 through 8. So put to death the sinful, earthly things lurking within you. Have nothing to do with sexual morality, impurity, lust, and evil desires. Don't be greedy, for a greedy person is an idolater, worshiping the things of this world. Because of these sins, the anger of God is coming. You used to do these things when your life was still part of this world, but now is the time to get rid of anger, rage, malicious behavior, slander, and dirty language. Here's what I believe. I don't believe it matters what the sin is. Sin separates us from God, and God wants us to remove it. And so whether it's the the sexual morality, the impurity, the lust, or whether it's anger, rage, malicious behavior, uh, uh, dirty language, slander, anything, no matter what your sin is, God wants us to put it to death. I love the seriousness of this language too. He's not just saying stop doing it or or just just move away from that or or just, just, just knock it off. He's saying put it to death. Kill this thing within you. That's separating you from God because this relationship with God is that important and it's that good. So the first question that comes to mind is is how? How do we put these things to death? And I believe it comes through confession and submission to God. What we do is not pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. It's not trying harder. This Christian faith isn't about self-help. This Christian faith is about submission to Jesus. You see, we didn't go to the cross. Jesus went to the cross. He died for these sins right here. And so if we want to put to death these sins, then we need to do what Jesus tells us to do. Stop trying harder and submit all of yourself. Give up yourself to God. What that looks like is prayer. It looks like confession. It looks like getting in a community of accountability. It looks like saying, okay, God, I've tried doing everything my way over and over again, and I still go back to these sins. I'm done doing it my way. I want to do it your way. And even that, even the the ask is still, God, empower me. Give me the, the energy to do this because, God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to confess lust to a brother. I don't want to confess uh, anger to, to my wife. I, I don't want to talk about these things. It is easier to hold on to our sins than it is to get rid of them. But God says that when we give in, when we submit, when we confess, when we follow Jesus' plans for killing the sin within us, the outcome is far better than we can even imagine. You know, I love that it says you used to do these things when your life was still part of this world. There's there's this idea here that we don't have to do these things anymore. These things that are killing you, these things that are separating you from God and the people around you, you are no longer shackled to these things. You have freedom from these things. And so I want you today, if there is sin in your life, I want you to read Colossians. Put to death the sinful things, the the earthly things that are keeping you from God and relationship with his community and and, and your Christ-likeness. And I want you to to follow God's path for it and not your own anymore. Confess to God. And then if you you get to that point and you confess to God and you, you are so sure that he's forgiven you, because let me tell you, he has. He's forgiven you. He's cleansed you of all unrighteousness. Then I want you to take the next step. His plan for you is also to confess to a brother or sister in Christ. Because the Bible tells us that when we confess to God, he cleanses cleanses us of all unrighteousness. When we confess to a brother or sister in Christ, we are healed. And so there's something about this accountability. There's something about God's way uh, of doing things that really does put to death the sinful things in our life. I hope they don't have control over you today, Calvary. I love you a lot. We'll see you later.